Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on April 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me. The Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather. Always starting out here looking at the sun. 304 angstroms. As we did have a small spit from the southern region. No sunspots to talk about. I don't know if you guys see the spit or not. We're going to zoom in here. You can see that black spot just flip away. So that was a filament eruption. Coronal mass ejection, whatever you want to call it. Definitely a spit and an outburst from the sun. Looking here under a different light and we can see the coronal hole, which is an equatorial earth facing coronal hole. So we'll be expecting a wind stream over the next 12 to 24 hours as it has been facing us for the last 12 hours. Our solar wind speeds are starting to slow down now. Just looking at that little minor explosion in the southern region of the sun. And have a look at our heliosphere. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to The Daily Do. I'm happy that you appreciate these videos, staying aware and prepared. Don't forget to stay young and have fun. And hopefully you all got together with the med, uh, Million Man Meditation at 11 o'clock. Looking here at the solar wind speed, 306 kilometers per second, steady, and is on a downwards right now. So we're expecting the incoming coronal hole wind stream. This is what our equatorial planes look like right now. Magnetosphere. Very quiet. I'd say all quiet on the equatorial plane. Steady 300 kilometers per second. This is what our magnetosphere looks like when it's steady. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. We're going to be watching this ramp up over the next 36 hours. Looking here at the annual spiral, showing incoming space weather. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, as it's been pretty busy across the North American plate. A lot of minor rumbles in California, 3.3, 2.5 in Bodie. As well, watching earthquake swarm in Idaho again, Cascade, Idaho. So we've been watching the Cascadia fault line for the last, what, three weeks or so since we've had those large rumbles. Looking here, Central America, 4.3 there, Ecuador. Four point nine here, South Sandwich Islands, Viscoy Island. As well, minor earthquakes, four point two Greece. 4.1 yesterday, that's been pretty active region. Mount Etna erupted today. We'll be looking at that soon. Also looking at a 5.1 here in the Philippines. Shallow depth. Tonga region and New Zealand going off today. Some shallower as per usual earthquakes there. As well watching fours move up through Japan and up into Kamchatka as we've got some pretty active volcanoes there as well. So stay tuned this afternoon. The volcanic activity report will be coming out. Here, here we're looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, and you can see around the world we're looking at deep earthquakes everywhere but North America. The Pacific Plate going into the North American Plate. Cascadia subduction zone, please stay alert. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family on the West Coast. This is the only place that there are no deep earthquakes. Interesting, when you look at it that way. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, as we do have quite an active day across the United States. Tornado warnings going off in Houston, Texas, as well Charleston, South Carolina just recently. Uh, early this morning, New Orleans, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi. It's been a very busy day, and I do believe that there is a tornado on the ground right now. 
heading through Mississippi, Jackson, and as well the border with Texas. Looking here at the volcanoes, most recently, Klitschewskoy, as well as Sabankaya, Dukano in Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, and of course, Etna in Italy. So that erupted today. I'm sure some videos will be flying up on YouTube. Possible. Stay tuned to the Volcanic Activity Report. We'll have a more in-depth look at what happened to Etna today. And as well, all of the active and erupting volcanoes from around the world. Just going to quickly shift here to satellite imagery as... I'm observing quite an event happening right now through the Mediterranean, big low there, but as well, just some huge lows across the Atlantic developing and as well the Pacific. And I've been monitor monitoring these lows that just keep spinning around the Northern Hemisphere right now. And when I look at these satellite images, it kind of looks like winter still. Go figure. Yesterday's forecast throughout Alberta, I was saying that it was going to be up to 19 degrees. Well, that has since changed drastically. So we're going to get into that with the five-day forecast. Just looking here at the satellite imagery over the Pacific. Huge, strong, vigorous, lower-level troughs. And then look over Southeast Asia as these huge systems are coming off of the Tibetan Plateau where they have the largest weather modification station in the world, the largest rainmaker in the world. Interesting indeed. Let's get to the five-day forecast, starting over here, Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, temperatures not reaching above, I believe, 10 degrees over the next five days now. Things have def definitely changed. As I was talking about a few, a few videos ago, maybe last week or so, Strong high-pressure ridge over the Hudson Bay. I don't know if you remember me talking about it. But it's going to keep these cold temperatures hanging around for a while across the Northern Hemisphere, for sure. As later in the week, we've got some snow coming to Calgary, Alberta. Across Northern Ontario and into Quebec, some snow as well. And some extreme weather straight across the United States. As we've been talking about, and I'm alive right now, tornado warnings across the United States. But just look at the cold temperatures that are really hanging around the Northern Hemisphere right now. Watch for extreme weather straight down into Florida later in the week. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, heavier region of Venezuela coastal regions not much to talk about there unscathed from extreme weather overlooking Africa very warm but also very moisturous across East Africa and the coastline daily evaporation rains but the intense heat maybe a fuel for a very intense Atlantic hurricane season. So stay aware, prepare, my friends and family. We ain't seen nothing yet when it comes to the Atlantic hurricane seasons. Overlooking Europe, strong high pressure ridge coming in. But you can see it's also bringing in some cold temperatures across Eastern Europe and Central Europe. Low pressure system moving through the Mediterranean. And then a pretty strong system later in the week moving north of Turkey. And then here is Southeast Asia through Nepal and West Asia into Thailand. Watch for heavy snow, heavy rain. Especially here through Thailand. I don't think it's quite going to reach you, Steve. Thoughts and prayers to everybody worldwide. God bless humanity. 
overlooking Australia. Not much to talk about there. Central regions, equatorial through Philippines, watch for a possible typhoon forming later in the forecast. Heavy rains through New Zealand. Dry throughout Australia. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. As when you look at the northern hemisphere, it does not look like spring. That's for sure. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike Morning Dew. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.